Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, we've currently got a two times chance to get reflex gear from Ice Golem. This is pretty much the only time I would actively farm Ice Golem. Reflex gear is absolutely the type of gear that I want more of on my account. It's really, really cool for Hydra teams, especially for enemy max HP champions or champions really where there's only one skill you want to try and get back to as often as you can. Even champions like Udo, who do like a drop defense and a heal, just being able to reduce the cooldown of those abilities on champions where, honestly, you don't need like crazy stats is awesome. So for me, I was all in. You can see here, I spent the best part of 10,000 energy and uh, nearly 500 multi-battles yesterday. And we're going to see, firstly, did I hit the, the strike rate on reflex gear? And then secondly, how many pieces of gear am I keeping on 10,000 energy and I've got to say reflex gear is not a set I've got a lot of so or a lot of good pieces anyway so let's get into this let me show you this uh, annoyingly how the hell did I end up at 1500 turns on a run <laughs> annoyingly uh, my team did fail a couple of times which uh, is my bad I guess but let me show you this so firstly did we hit the double chance to get reflex yeah a lot of people 10,000 energy is a pretty good kind of overall feeling of are the rates working or not. So you can see here six pieces of life, seven offense, eight, seven, five, five, four, four. Honestly, it's not that good. Eight, ten. It's not that good, but I was only keeping six star items. So I guess maybe there was a lot more in five star that was instantly sold. But for my account, I'm really after six star. So already. We're down to only 10 pieces to look at. And if I looked at the other gear sets, life, life gear literally never keep. Offense gear never keep. They're instant sales for my account. They're just not good gear sets. Like if this was HP percent with, I, no, I, can't even tell, I couldn't even tell you a time where I think I would keep it, honestly. I just don't think I would keep it ever. Uh, and same sort of thing with attack, like offense set. It would have to be the most godlike piece for me to even consider keeping it. Defense pieces used to be something that I would keep because actually getting defense as a stat is relatively difficult to do in gear sets, but they have added a couple more now. Like the new gear set that we're currently got in the Forge Pass pretty much is just like a 10 times better version of this set because you're also getting straight damage mitigation. So again, they would have to be absolutely like godlike legendary pieces for me to even consider it. And... Uh, it would have to be either like defense percent or resistance as a main stat here as well. So none of those are going to be keepers. Crit rate set, again, I'm looking at epic or above. And it would have to be a ton of crit, crit damage, uh, probably speed with the right main stat for me to even consider it. Resistance gear is a little bit niche. And it is actually something that I would look for. I don't have good resistance gear in other sets. Um, so... In terms of, you know, you can farm resistance gear from like a Scarab boss. I don't have brilliant resistance gear. So just seeing like a resistance potential triple roll there, I would roll that up. I want to see resistance as a main stat there for me to care. I want to see attack, uh, sorry, HP percent, defense percent or speed with resistance down here to care. There's only going to be one of those that's even taken a look. Cursed gear would have to be absolutely ridiculously good to keep. Provoke set is actually not bad. And I don't have a good like provoke set on the account at all so you know certainly for someone like a hegemon particularly this is a good set but also now people are running pro provoke set backups for hydra so you know someone like a uh, um, mother sabelle for example who's doing a lot of aoe hits in a provoke set can just kind of give you that clutch extra provoke for the head of decay but again they would have to be really good pieces retaliation gear don't really keep it but it's not a horrendous set actually it's good on someone like Deliana. Again, someone like a Mother Sabel, probably not bad. Um, someone like a Vrask for healing. Anyone who's got a really cool A1, actually. So, but then again, they're all terrible pieces. Just see what these two are as well. Quick, both keepers. Okay. So, on to the reflex gear then. This is what really we're looking for. And there's not a lot to choose from already. But when we're talking about reflex gear, this is, I literally, I can't believe there's 10,000 energy. This is why people buy gear sets. When they're at endgame. Yeah, buying a gear set, even though it's insanely expensive, 
works out better than turning gems into energy to do this. You know, I bought one of the, the energy packs to get this 10,000 energy or some of it. And, you know, for the amount I spent, I probably could have bought one gear pack, which is probably better than what I've got here, honestly. Yeah, that, and that is why endgame players now don't farm dungeons so much. Anyway, from 10,000 energy, we've got 10 pieces. So one piece per thousand energy of six star reflex gear. And of those, four of them are rares. And, you know, the rares for the weapons, honestly, could argue maybe you keep this one, but really it's not good enough. The rares for the gloves could be different because I might get, I might get HP percent, defense percent, crit, crit damage. So they can be keepers. And we do have different people that need reflex gear. You take someone like a bad L, bad L is looking for um, defensive stats, HP percent, defense percent, resistance, speed, accuracy. Like he needs a very different set. And, and that's the same for Geo, really. Defensive stats, speed, ac same thing. It's exactly the same stats I just spoke about, maybe without the resistance. But if you look at someone like a Husk or a Royal Guard, they're looking for crit rate, crit damage, attack percent, speed. They're looking for uh, accuracy. Yeah, so they're looking for very different stats. So there is a lot of different kind of variations, but you want the pieces to make sense combined. Yeah, so I don't want to see like mixture of those different things. So what have we got here? Crit rate, HP percent resistance. I guess there is an argument to say you could roll that up looking for, do we get multiple crit rate rolls? I will roll it up, but it's not a good piece. Speed, HP percent crit damage could be okay if we've got enough crit rate in something else. But again, it's not great. This one is a brilliant, absolutely brilliant piece for someone like a Geo or someone like a Bad L. Two defensive stats with resistance, with speed on it. That could be brilliant. Flat stat on the gloves, no thanks. HP percent with resistance with attack percent. Honestly, because I don't have a lot, it might be something that I roll to see what the third roll is, but I need to find something else that's good here. And honestly, I want to kind of find a double roll in resistance here for these to be decent. Flat stat again. Flat HP with two awful substats, one pretty bad one, and one okay one. That's just a sell. Like, it's just not good enough. Uh, I, what I'm going to do this, I'm going to look on my account and see what I've actually got in HP percent. And this one is potentially godlike. Attack percent with crit rate, crit damage. But for someone like a Royal Guard or a Cold Heart or, um, I don't know, Septimus, anyone who's, who's doing enemy max HP that scales through attack percent, you've got a chance here to get multiple kind of crit rate, crit damage rolls. So they could be a great set of boots. So we sell the rest. Get ourselves down to these last few. Let's see what we get after level eight. I want to see resistance rolls. I've got defense rolls. I mean, it's a resistance set, right? It's not a defense set. Okay, the level 12 is absolutely made sure. It's a goner. Sorry about all these things popping up. To do my Ice Golem team, two of the champions just are not geared. To get, to get them squishy enough to be killed by the Ice Golem really quick. So I now get this 500 times. Uh, right, let's have a look at this one. So this was the kind of iffy one. Honestly, I don't really know where I want this to go. It's got to go one way or the other heavy. Like, it had to go like double roll crit or double roll resistance or something. Like, just, I feel like one and one not doing it for me. So that's a, that's a goner. It was already kind of a goner in my head anyway. Speed and crit damage is where I want to see these go in. Oh, ideally, like multiple crit damage. Flexing across the whole lot. I guess it's not awful. Resistance is the last one. It's really, it doesn't tie in to be that solid a piece because it's just all over the place. But um, it might be something I can use. Let's have a look. This is the one I, I feel like I can't bad roll. Yeah, I just feel like it can't bad roll. Double resistance we like to see. Speed and HP. That's a great piece. Yeah, this will easily form part of a champion piece. Mainly as a defensive type of champion uh, doing like solo type stuff. This one, we're not sure about. Same with this one, really. Let's check these, these boots out. So I want to see crit rate, crit damage. The double defense roll sucks, honestly. It sucks to see the double defense roll. 
it's about as bad as that could have rolled really like oh but i really don't have good reflex gear so this is probably something i still keep for now but it's, it's just not a good piece for the way it's rolled the accuracy was nice as well ah if these have gone into these other two stats they could have been a brilliant brilliant set of boots let me just not do just new now let's let's check out the lots of my reflex gear and see if those two new pieces are worth me keeping or not so you can see here i'm really like i'm so short on it so short on this gear set so we've got hp percent here and just want to see what else i've got in hp percent if i've got anything only this one pair of gloves here that's currently on my geo so it is a it is a set that i need it's a pair of gloves that i need for now until i can find better I'm gonna roll it up and it's actually rolled horrendously bad as well so um, i'm hoping i can just replace that still during ice golem i'm still going to pump more energy into it so we've also got this hp chest let's just see what i've got as alternatives to that one two two i'll tell you what i'm going to do if i've got it get out of the way domlock we're going to chaos or it go away so i think for this piece because i don't need another hp with these crap rolls we're going to see if we can rework it i really want to see an attack percent main stat it's come out flat hp this game hates me and that is straight up binned one more chaos or in the bin thank you game um and i've got one more epic one as well too bad yeah this one's a good one for an epic one so we're just hoping to see an offensive re-roll crit damage attack percent accuracy it's probably better than it was but still not great so there you go ten thousand energy on trying to find better reflex gear and honestly I don't think I found a single piece that has upgraded my account. There you go. And I don't even have that good a gear in Reflex. We try again, but that's the sort of thing I'm looking for, guys. I've been Hell Hades. I'll see you later.